welcome to spring semester and welcome to genetics. Let's get excited for a great semester. Yeah. So I am Dr. Burks. I'm coming to you from South Jersey. I went to a HBCU like you. I graduated from University of Maryland Eastern Shore with a bachelor's in biology. I then went on to Hopkins to complete a PhD in human genetics and molecular bio. I study muscle aging. Um, I used to use mice. Those are the my organism of preference, but I have started to migrate towards data science and Drosophila since I've been at Bowie State. I taught at Towson as an adjunct for a couple semesters, as well as a couple semesters with Hopkins CTY. And I've been at Bowie State for about five years now. Absolutely love to be in front of you and trying to just encourage, inspire, and educate you guys and to help you be whatever it is that you wish to be in the future. Avid Cowboys fans, like we always make it to the playoffs, but we can never get past that first game. But, you know, we'll try again next year. You guys don't have to worry about football so much since it's the spring semester. And absolutely love traveling. Haven't been able to travel since 2019. Not feeling it, but better safe than sorry, right? And so that's a little bit about me. Now, about this course. So one thing you'll notice is that the syllabus is different. It has been revised and edited and hopefully to be more appealing to you and to help you see that that document is for you and to help you and assist you throughout this course. In this course, so this course, uh, the prereq is Bio 102, and it serves itself as a prereq for many other classes that you have to take. So I beg of you to please take this class seriously and please try to learn the material as opposed to memorizing and forgetting it because you are required to know this information when you move forward into micro, malec, and cell, just to name a few. Now, why you are here and it is a mandatory course for all bio majors. While you are here, we're going to talk a little bit about cell biology. A very little bit because that's what you should know coming in from 102. We're going to revisit genetics, which you should have also had in 102, as well as cell division. We'll move into talking about the genetics of bacteria, humans, and viruses. We'll talk about central dogma, which you should be familiar with. We'll talk about... Um, linkage, chromosomes, all these different types of ways to inherit sex determination. And I've added a couple new chapters this year. So we'll touch on some molecular technology, some genomics, some population genetics slash evolutionary genetics. And let's see how that goes. So this class meets for lecture in 1105 in the science building and for lab in 3165. So unlike the past couple semesters, we are trying to be totally online this semester. The time that you meet is depending on which section you're in, and you can find that on Bulldog Connection and Blackboard. You have to have access to some kind of electronic device, okay? Be it a cell phone, laptop, or tablet, although I don't think you can take some of your quizzes on a cell phone. You have to have access to Blackboard. Please make sure your Blackboard is working. Please make sure that you check your university email because if I have to send any class announcements, it's going to go there. And you should have access to a genetics textbook. Now, I use Concepts of Genetics by Broker. They are now on the fourth edition. All materials I use are coming out of the fourth edition. However, if you have the second or third or even another genetics textbook, that should be perfectly fine. Everything you need in this class is going to be on Blackboard and in your syllabus. So please, please, please make sure you check it often. Make sure you know what's going on. The syllabus has a checklist of all assignments. So you could just print that out and check it off as you go along to make sure you're not missing anything. Your notes are on Blackboard. So I have taken the opportunity to annotate the book and give you the notes with some things missing. That just means as you read, fill it in, okay? But you have a note outline, you have a place to start. And then you have chapter and module quizzes on Blackboard. In this class, you'll have four exams. So one after each module, which is roughly once a month. You'll have two assessments. So these are non-traditional ways to access how much you are learning. This is in the form of a video and an infographic. So do it midterm instead of an exam and then do it finals instead of an exam. You'll have about 21 chapter quizzes. So this is one for each chapter that we talk about. Four module quizzes that follow a similar schedule as the exams. And then other 
assignments as needed. So this can be discussions, journals, or problem sets. These can be in-class activities or take-home activities, depending on what's going on and how much more we need to complete in order to make sure we have that topic down pat. In the lab, so the lab is going to be, this is a cure class, so we're doing a lab, also a little different this year. So we're going to be looking at Drosophila melanogaster, which is the fruit fly. And you'll have a project to complete, and you guys will be in pairs, so as to not try to overcrowd us during these COVID times. And there'll be more of this coming on the first day of lab. In addition, as we wait for our materials and for our Drosophila to grow and develop, there'll be some other labs that go along with whatever we're talking about in lecture. And all of this will be provided to you on Blackboard. You'll be graded. So exams, assessments, 20 percent, module quizzes, 10, chapter quizzes, 5, assignments, 10, attendance and participation counts. And then the things you do in the lab in the laboratory make up 25 percent. But you can ignore some of these for now. This will be updated. All assignments have a rubric. Anything that's written has a rubric attached to it. So if you have a question about your grade, click on view rubric under my grades and it will tell you which points came off and why. There's a text box that will say, hey, points were taken off because of this. If there's no rubric there, then sometimes there's a little bubble. So if you click on it, it will tell you why you earned the grade you earned. If you see a zero and you're like, I know I completed this. So before you get upset and go, hey, professor, I completed this assignment. Why did you give me a zero? Go to my grades, check the notes and see. It could be as simple as you submitted it in pages. I cannot open pages. Zero, please resubmit as a PDF. OK, so please hope you have heard that. I cannot open pages. So please submit your assignments in PDF or Microsoft Word. Uh, another question you get is about extra credit. So extra credit usually comes in the form of Kahoot and other games that we do, other activities, maybe some pop quizzes, but I do not give extra credit assignments. Okay, so if you do all these four credit things and do them correctly, you should not need any extra credit. You will learn a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This class will seem intense. It will seem fast paced. Please keep up. And if you happen to fall behind and if you happen to get confused or if something goes wrong, please talk to me. OK, I can help you if you let me know that there's a problem. I'm not a mind reader. And as much as I would like to be like, oh, this person has a problem. Let me check on them. I cannot do that. So if something is not working out for you, please let me know as soon as possible. If you don't want to talk to me, let one of the TAs know or something. But please don't fall behind. And if you do fall behind, please don't feel like there's no hope for you because we are here to help you. So this is that. I need assistance. Speak up, speak up, speak up. We will make every effort to help you. I'll tend to walk around the room and say, hey, did you get it? I'll ask if there are any questions. Please don't be afraid to ask a question. The only person you expect to know any and everything in that classroom is me. OK, you are off the hook. So please speak up, ask your questions. Don't feel like there's a dumb question when it comes to content. Blackboard has everything you need. So your syllabus, your assignments, some videos and things to help you. Everything you need is on Blackboard. I try to make it as user friendly as possible. There is a course navigation video. So if you watch that, it will show you how to find the different things that are on Blackboard so that you can use them. So if you need to reach out to me, my email address tberks at Bowie State. My telephone number is 301-860-3377 and the office will be office hours will be held on Zoom. My office hours are here. So Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if this doesn't work, send me an email or so and say, hey, can I meet with you outside of those times and suggest a time and I'll let you know if I'm free or not. We have two TAs this semester. So we have Ben and Zane. These are their email addresses. They will be posting their office location and office hours online and it, on Blackboard. And it will be some virtual and some in person so that we can help you. If you come to office hours, we can talk about content. We can talk about something that's confusing. We can talk about if a grade and how do you redo an assignment or not redo it. How do you know how to do it for next time? Or if life is simply happening, please take advantage of this. Please don't wait till the last week of class to say, well, you know, professor, 
this and this and this happened on week three and after that I just went down like I, it's not much I can do you're tying my hands at that point so if something's going on in life if you can't tell me the day it happened please try to tell me within a week or so I am here to help you you should not be held accountable for some things during rough times okay but you gotta let me know you gotta reach out you gotta say something um, so you can call me, but I would say use it sparingly unless it's just a quick question because it's easier if you write something down, you leave a paper trail and this goes in all of your classes. So you can say, oh, I went for her for help several times. I called her office and no one answered. Mm, did you follow up with an email? Okay, so do try to do those things. When you email, please remember that this is professional correspondence. I am your professor. So you should talk as such and not necessarily as you would with your friends. Okay. And also keep in mind, when you email, tell me your name, your course name, and the section number. This is very important, especially in genetics, because I teach two different sections. And in order for me to best serve you, I need to know which section you're in so I can access it quickly and solve whatever the issue is. Okay? Please be as detailed as possible, not, hey, my computer shut down and kicked me out the assignment. Uh, which assignment are you talking about okay now we're going to go back and forth and now I can't help you right away because maybe I got 10 minutes or so to help you before the next class but if you send an email and I got to send one back and you send one back now you have to wait until class ends okay so please be very detailed hi this is Rebecca from bio 201 section 001 while I was taking chapter 3 quiz the computer shut down and I wasn't able to complete it can you please reopen that for me okay very detailed to the point and I can now solve your problem um so this x3 before me comes when it thinks like oh professor hey when is that assignment due again it's in the syllabus so please refer to blackboard refer to the syllabus refer to your classmates refer to a TA or so before you ask a question like that okay and then you want to get an A, like pay attention, try, show up, participate. It's very important that you participate. Those who are in person and who are participating do a lot better than those who either are not in person sitting on Zoom when they're really at work or so, or sitting in class doing something else, or simply not engaging in the class and asking questions. So I really ask that you try. Genetics is a hands-on science, okay? You have to sit there and work out problems and things to get it. And the, once you do that, you'll understand it. And then the definitions and things start to make sense because you can apply them. You don't show up to practice to watch the coach play. You don't come to the classroom to just watch the teacher talk or lecture. This is a flipped classroom so that you'll be exposed to the material at home. Then you'll come in and be exposed to it again because the more repetition, the more you'll learn this stuff. Okay, so treat this like practice. You come to practice to practice. So please come to class to practice learning the stuff or practice using the stuff that you learned. Okay. Come with questions, come with problems, come with things, some analogies or applications that you found. So I expect to this end that before you show up, you'll watch those videos and or read those texts that are online. You'll complete the note outline, you'll complete the chapter quiz, and if something's troubling or confusing that you'll write it down or highlight it so that you ask about it in class so when you come to class you'll annotate those notes you'll ask questions you'll participate in whatever we're talking about it could be problems on the board it could be a problem set in front of you it could be in a group assignment but I'm asking that you participate because this is when you start to actually retain that material and then after review try those practice problems that are on blackboard Watch anything you need again, review anything you need, participate in study groups, or attend office hours if you need. Okay, please show up. Let me know if you're not. Cell phones will be used in class and check your grades often. Let me know early if there's a problem. Participate, participate, participate. Tell you, you'll forget. If I teach you, you'll remember for a little while, but if I involve you in this process, you'll learn and retain it. Okay? So outside of the class content, you will learn some things about yourself, like how to study if you never did or how to learn or how you best retain that it, hard work pays off. This class is hard to read and follow the directions and rubrics that are laid out in front of you and to retain information as opposed to cramming. And I hope you learn that it's OK to ask questions and it's OK to participate in class because that that's how you truly submit the stuff that you're supposed to be learning. Any questions or comments 
or concerns about anything in this video, you know, please come to class, ask them, send an email, let me know so that we start the semester strong and that we finish even stronger.